to the day 20 mile run my very first 20 mile run ever kind of nervous a little scared so i'm going to show you how i'm preparing for it what the entire run is going to be like if i survive and how i feel at the end of the run so let's cut back to this morning actually like an hour ago as we prepared and put all the equipment on and what i'm wearing it is 11 a.m a little late to the start i had to do a coffee this morning i think when you're doing a long run you think that hey i can just show up and run but there's actually like a 30 to 45 minute pre-process to getting ready. And it might be longer for me because we're filming and I just love wearing extra technology. So the very first thing I like to do is actually, I see this guy, Nick Bear, he's very big and muscular and I wanna be like him when I grow up. He puts two scoops of G1M Sport into a water bottle. Because I see an influencer doing it online, I tend to wanna to just copy them because I've heard that if you copy these influencers, it, just, it works for you as well, exactly as you want it. I love the nipple bottles because they're just easier to drink. So that's preparation one. I'll finish this before we start running. So as I'm getting ready, I'm gonna start sipping on that and try to chug it. It is a lot of water. So ideally I would have started that earlier. Next is a chest heart rate strap. I'm using Polar. I typically have a Garmin one as well, but this one I think ran out of battery today. Perfect timing on the day of the long run. I have a core body temperature. This is gonna measure my core body temp, depending on the weather, how much I'm running, and if my body's able to cool myself. This will just give me an extra data point. I like to get this soaking wet. So we'll do that. I'm gonna bring two packs of Element T. Drink elementt.com backslash Shervin to get these. Uh, this is for hydration, 1,000 milligrams of sodium. Um, this also has some sodium in it. Um, this is just extra sodium for the run. I bring two. Um, I'm gonna bring a secondary bottle just in case. And then I actually bought some smaller bottles, which I'll show you in a second. We've got the stride pod here to measure my power as well as better distance accuracy. Um, we've got all the gels I'll be using on this run. So I'm gonna just shove these into my pants. We're a go one more follower, so I'm gonna wear his hat. We're part of the cult, right? Uh, and, and I love to start with these momentous collagen shots 30 to 60 minutes before. I'll have two of these before I go run uh, Code Shervin for 15% off. These I like a lot. They have powder form, but it's just easier to consume. If you didn't know, I am running the London Marathon. I'm running with Wallchild, a charity that helps children and young people get the best care and support possible. I'm trying to raise money for this charity. They're based in the UK. I wanna thank everyone who's already donated, all of these folks. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and donating to my London Marathon. It means a lot, I'm excited. If you haven't donated yet and you want to donate, please feel free, the link is right there. And if you're based in the UK, come watch me run. Thank you so much. So first step is the Vaseline. I'm gonna do that, you're not coming with me. I don't believe in sharing Vaseline because I just rub that all over my bottom area. So I'm gonna take some of this Vaseline. I've learned on these long runs in between your legs as well as above and below your units down there. <laughs> the armpit, back armpit area. I think for me I have wide lats so a lot of rubbing happens here. Um, so that's one spot. I actually got a scar from my whoop on this side because you see that that's scar tissue and that's my whoop tan because there's just so much rubbing so actually I don't know if that's gonna mess up my heart rate data. Put some on the whoop, put some more right here because what happens when you chafe? You start bleeding. So you don't want to chafe. I'm not gonna wear a shirt but I'm just gonna put this here just in case. You gotta, you gotta turn on your YouTube memberships down below for, the, for this content. One thing, make sure you rub those areas to get the Vaseline spread out really well, really nice, so that's good. I forgot to start chugging this. I need to get this wet. I typically get both sides of it wet. And then, I honestly don't know if this is battery, but we're gonna pray that it does to turn it on. Shake the core. Next up, I'm gonna wear compression socks because ever since I broke my foot, they just make me feel comfortable. I don't know if this is good or bad for you. I don't like that it squeezes my toes together. In an ideal world, I would wear toe socks because then I wouldn't get blisters between my toes. But you can't have it all. I also need to make sure that my watches are fully charged. So we have the Apple Watch Ultra 2. 87% battery, I hope that'll be enough. And the Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2, 96% battery, that'll definitely be enough. Both watches are charged, I'll connect both to the heart rate strap and um, potentially the Garmin to the stride pod. And that's pretty much all the technology I'm gonna wear today. I do have muscle oxygen sensors, but I don't really wanna wear them. So we'll figure that out for later. All right, one thing about 
wearing a lot of technology. Sometimes things don't have batteries, sometimes things don't work. Like the core is not connecting the polar. First time using it in months. I need to update it. Everything else should hopefully be fine. Step is putting the shoe pod on my shoe. I put it on my left shoe. This is the stride pod. Put the shoes on. These are the Saucony Endorphin Speed Pro, I think, or something. They're the training shoe. Well, here we go. Shoes, shorts. Next is gels. I'm actually gonna bring probably as many gels as I possibly can. I'm gonna stuff them into these pockets. So we can get two gels, 40 grams of carbs, 30 milligrams of sodium. So 40 grams, let's say we do 80 grams an hour. That would mean six of these for a three hour run. My phone is gonna go in here probably. So maybe we'll stuff one more in here. And when you remember, we gotta finish this. This is working, I think. <laughs> Put it back on. I'm actually gonna wear this naked band, which is gonna help me carry a lot of the things that I need. We'll put this on. I need a pee. Got the nervous pee, but I'm gonna put water and more gels in this band. And I think I'll be able to carry more stuff. Wish me luck. We'll probably start running tomorrow. Oh, another important piece is call the coach. FaceTime Parker Gregory. He's my coach at Lightning Party Fitness, if you want to train with him. 20 miler today. What do I need to do to be ready? You can make this 20 miles. It, don't let it play too much in your head. Don't worry about trying to go crazy faster in this. We're gonna keep this at 150 beats per minute for your max heart rate. This is about just getting the mileage. Okay. At any point, if you're like, hey, I need a walk, that's fine. Just go out, cruise, enjoy the whole run, fuel and hydrate, fuel and hydrate. Dude, you've made 17 and a lot of your runs throughout the week they're pretty good mileage. Uh -huh. The three extra miles, you got this, dude. Yeah, yeah, this is why we practice everything because we have to not just get our body used to this mileage, we gotta get our gut use. I'm bringing water with me, I got this little belt. Hopefully this works. Oh, sweet, that's cool. I've never seen one like that. Well, and you've got your Apple Watch, so if you need to buy some more while you're out there, just- Exactly, yep. <laughs> Because remember, you're always thinking 20 minutes into the future when you're fueling. Okay. You're not eating something to fuel you at that moment. You can set alarms on your watch or your Garmin to be like, hey, every 15 minutes, I want this alarm to go off and fuel. Yeah. That feels so funny. Can I run with this? Does it move? How does it move around? I've never seen that belt, it's but that's cool. Tight. Yeah, man. Please, and call me during the run if you need to. Okay, will do. Later. 20, baby, 20. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Boom, all right, welcome back. Now we're actually gonna start the run. I got everything on. I'm gonna start my watches here. You got the Garmin, run. Today, run 20 miles, do workout. We're gonna wait for GPS. All right, heart rate monitor connected, football connected. We're just gonna wait for GPS. And we're good to go, we're ready. Run 20 miles, check. All right, now we've got our run 20 miles and training peaks. We'll select it there. Outdoor run, find the GPS. Boom, GPS is locked. Uh, we're gonna go into settings. Make sure under Bluetooth that my heart rate monitor is connected, so we're good there. Polar is good, we're getting good heart rate data. We're gonna check core and my CGM. So my CGM right now says we are at 112, and then core should be calibrating. I tried to put it on before. We're gonna just double check that it's connecting. It looks like it started measuring, so we should be good there. That's it, we just start, right? It just feels so daunting. I'm gonna do it all by myself. I guess this is what we're doing, right? <laughs> Why does it feel so scary? Okay, we're good, we're good. We just run, that's it, right? We're gonna run down to World Trade Center. <laughs> we're gonna come back up, maybe exchange some stuff here, and then Central Park and do some loops around Central Park. See you later. Got me excited, one, two, scared if I have to do hills near the end of my run. All right, we're almost a mile in. The Apple Watch, for some reason, missed 0.4 miles. I don't know what happened, but at the beginning, it kept saying I was walking. 
something happened with the GPS. Maybe I just started the workout too early and then waited too long to get going. But it's already 0.4 miles behind the Garmin. 0.5 now. So that's why I wear two watches. For redundancy, it seems always one watch is something wrong. 19 more to go. There's a bathroom up here. I'm gonna do a bathroom break. Yeah, right here. To the left, there's a bathroom in that corner. I'm gonna go use that real quick. All right, just did a little bathroom break, five miles in, three miles. Gonna keep going now. All right, five mile update. About 44 minutes for five miles. I don't know, I think we're doing like an 850 pace. Feeling good, finished the water. One gel. We got one more to go. Uh, one fourth of the way done. Not too bad. Keeping heart rate below 150. Feel good. Get over! <laughs> People are walking in the bike lane. Fun fact. I once did this, what you're doing now, and the boosted board, wheel broke, literally 20 minutes into the run. Thank God today, you're safe so far. Safety first, kids. This is funny, man. Everyone stares at us. We stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> We get a mid hot dog run, mid run hot dog. Glucose maintaining around 120 to 135, which I think is pretty good. You want to keep that up. Heart rate maintaining 149, 150, trying to stay below 150. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Pace around 850, I feel like, average. So it's pretty good. Core body temp 100.8, so not too much heat stress or heat strain. My coach told me that I can keep my heart rate at 150, but I was barely able to hold 145. Like I was just so exhausted. And I had two Martin 160 gels every hour, which is like 80 grams of carb. Right knee definitely hurts when I run slower. I'm trying to make sure my running form is good. Landing directly below my hip, but it doesn't feel great. But it's not like so painful where I can't run, but it's there, it's noticeable. We're like a third of the way maybe almost. Looking good. You know, I love some external motivation. Helps you keep going. And then we'll, I'll run up the bike path. I'll cut into Central Park, so hopefully I time it right. And then finish by Columbus Circle, where we go pick up the bib right after. So there's a little bit of an incline up here. The entire way, right? Mile six, 847. Apple Watch is exactly half a mile behind. Jeez, an hour and 12 minutes in, 8.36 miles. Feeling strong, 145 heart rate. I've eaten two gels so far, 40 grams of carbs each, one water. Now we've ran the west of the highway. I'm gonna run up to Central Park next and just do loops around there. We're over a third, almost halfway there. Throwback to two years ago. We filmed here, all right, 14 miles in. We're about two hours and three minutes. Slowing down a little bit, nine minute pace. Now heart rate 144. I feel tired. I know I can push it up to 148. My legs feel heavy, my body feels tired, but we're still moving. I honestly, for some reason, mentally, it was way harder than it was physically. 54 minutes left. Oh, shit. why am I doing this? I'm questioning that in my head as of this moment right now. I thought it would be fun. More than anything, I thought it'd be pushing me outside my comfort zone. You see all these people do it and they're like, yeah, it's hard. And I was like, you know, if they can do it, why can't I do it? Other than a minute. This is hard. I didn't realize how challenging it would be, how time consuming, how much effort it actually requires. A lot of things look easy on the outside, but then when you're actually in it, it's way harder. So I have mad respect for people who run marathons and even more respect for people who race marathons. My legs are destroyed. <laughs> Energy is low. Just took a gel. I don't know what it is. But usually on a downhill, I can just let my body go. But on that downhill, my body did not want to go. And I know there's an uphill right now. Honestly, I thought about stopping. I'm questioning my entire life existence. I'm questioning every decision I've made to get to this point today. I wanted to walk so many times and I was like, I questioned my own existence. This is fucking death, man. Oh my, I was doing 12 minute miles up the hill. 
Now we're going downhill and doing like nine. I was like, why did I sign up for this marathon? What am I doing? Dude, my body hurts, my head hurts. We still have four more miles to go. That's not, it's not even a marathon. Mile 16, I remember thinking, okay, my Apple Watch is 0.7 miles off now. It kept getting farther and farther, so the Apple Watch is not gonna hit the 20 mile run. So that was a bit disappointing. And then I just told myself four more miles. Like I can do four more miles. How do people do this? This is officially the most I've ever ran consecutively. So we're headed into uncharted territories. Mind over matter. The biggest thing for me is like when things get hard, you have to put in the work. And if you want to achieve big things in life, and for me, that's like trying to grow the YouTube channel, like things are going to get hard. And this run was a representation of that. The more I got the runners high and the slower I ran, the more I just wanted to quit. So I just got to push into the 830s and it feels better. Almost there. Where when things get hard, you just got to dig deep and put in the work. Doing, I'm surviving. We're here. We're alive. It was a reminder and I felt like a training ground for, for life, you know? Things get hard, put in more work. And if I can do it in the run, I can do it in life. Point zero one. Go one more. <laughs> Am I a go one more, Goopy? Well, Apple Watch is 19.4. Garmin just hit 20. I'm fucking done. I don't like the Apple Watch anymore. 0.6 miles off. I'm gonna trust the Garmin because it finished me earlier. Two hours, 57 minutes, 20 miles on the Garmin, 19.4 on the Apple Watch. So I am doing a shakeout run for the London Marathon. Please come hang out, sign up, attend it on Strava. I'll try to put the link down below. I'll post about it on Instagram, at Shervin Shares, and X actually. Cool, longest run at 20.01 miles. We should also keep walking, we're late for physical therapy. <laughs> New record, baby. Yeah, I feel destroyed. I can't believe I did it mentally. I feel pretty happy with myself that I was able to actually complete 20 miles. The marathon's gonna be six more. It's gonna be tough, it's gonna be hard, knowing that I was able to run that today. It gives me a little more confidence, but I'll run the actual marathon in three or four weeks. Let's do it. Uh, all right, since you enjoyed this video, go watch my entire marathon prep series. We're gonna run the London Marathon. If you wanna donate, there is a link down below. I'm dead. I think you're supposed to wear a shirt in the subway, but you have my shirt, right? <laughs>